time is here, and thank you for tuning in to Cozy Sundays. Enjoy. What's up guys, Cozy Sundays here with a new episode called Alone in the Dark 1992. Now this is for one of my listeners. Yep, a fan. I know, I made it, mother, I made it. And so I didn't want to do this one. I used to play it. Mm, not very good. They want it, they can have it. Okay. This game for the year 1992 is mysterious and fun. Because you always want to know what happens after the attic, right? And if you haven't played it, just play it and you would know what I mean. You would switch it off and then you would come to me and go, I know exactly what you mean about the attic. You just can't get off it. It is crazy hard. The controls are hard. Everything about this game is difficult. Picture Resident Evil 1 and 2, the old schools. The way you go around the hallways and rooms. But the controls are crazy. You take so long to turn. You, The camera angles are so off. You, I can't believe how long it takes you to walk. It is unbelievable. And funny enough, Steam, their rating is 9 out of 10. <laughs> so you tell me how that happened because I don't know. And also in 2014, it came on the iOS. Not Android, just iOS at the moment. We're still waiting for that. Because I will play it again. I did play it on the iOS. And it's very frustrating. But something about this game that makes you want to keep coming to it. So, and I think it's, you just want to get out the attic. So I don't know what it is. So I think that's how it got 9 out of 10. But the game itself, and like you want you want to get to the end, right? And I think that's what pushes you to try and try and finally give up. So yeah, if you do want to play this game, you can choose between two characters, a male or a female, Edward Carnby or Emily Hartwood. And one of them will be trapped in the haunted mansion, the Creto. Ooh, the I do that on all my episodes, so just watch that space. So the opening scene, you come in in a car. See, this is one of the best things. I like the little music and the way it comes in. So you come in the car, you get out at the gates, and when you're walking up, this is right here, right? You, you're walking up the road, the driveway, and then the camera switches to the attic or one of the rooms up the top and you're still walking so someone's looking at you and you can see like um, some art they're not moving it's just like a little bit of art of some monster hands holding onto the windowsill so right then you're like oh scary but then he goes through the whole house you see this goes up to the attic and I just don't know what they were thinking. I mean, I get it. They, you know, then you need to get out and that's what creates the game. But they could have done it a different way, I'm sure. Either get dragged up there or fallen down the basement and worked your way up. So, you know, it's like, well, that's what we have to do. That's what they're trying to do. 
So, um, yeah, I used to play this when I was a kid, obviously. Me and my brothers again. And it was, like I said, it was one of the ones we used to always play. I did get quite far, to be honest. And I remember, um, I think about halfway through, I'll tell you in a minute, as this is quite exciting. My brothers completed it. But I just, I find that I like to do on this game different, I like to see different scenes. So basically in the attic, if you don't hurry up, um, like a doggy monster type would come up in the attic. And also the window as well, yes. So you basically have to quickly hurry up, get the bookshelf, push it where the window is, and then you will see the monster there but can't get in it's quite cool to see I like how they added that if you don't do it he will come in and then there's a trunk you have to put on the attic um, like opening like the trap door and there's something the same will come up so you have to be careful and then also if you open find the key and open the trunk you will come across a sh um, not a shotgun nope a rifle so you could go that way, you could get the rifle, shoot them both, bob on. But you would not believe how hard the controls are. What I thought about this game, as I've just said, I don't know why it should have 9 out of 10. I would say around about 4 out of 10. But weirdly enough, I will play it again if it comes on the Android, 100%. I would even buy it for hmm, five, five pounds. But we're hopefully just free would be better so the controllers of the game yeah i mean i think if you just turn one way it will take you like 20 seconds to get a 360 and when you're aiming your gun you can see sometimes on the camera and you can't really turn the camera with you it's not like a gta the way you're going fast so something's coming towards you and you're just going so slow it's just like it's broke it's like it's buffering and then you shoot bang and then what you have to do when it bangs and you go up the gun goes up in the air then you have to wait for it to come back down and even the zombie you've just hit goes slow and then you bang and it's like what is this about and just m remember you have to do that the whole game so it's not really fun is it but good kind of <laughs> was it scary was it scary see there's what I find scary is you can't hurry up with it like for instance the attic bit is spooky scary with if you don't hurry up and it's slow so you're like oh hurry up move the bookshelf move the trunk on the thing that kind of quirkiness and like when you go down from the attic you go on a landing some stairs you see some monsters come up the stairs that's what i like about it it's freaky like oh my god there's someone's chasing you so maybe that's why they liked it so slow it's a good thing in a way and also i kept playing this because it is just just a nice childhood you know it's just um, back in 1992 i was really young and there wasn't much out. I remember we used to play James Pond. Which if you haven't played that. I think you're like a fish. And it's kind of like a 2D. Um, if you want an episode of that. Let me know. But apart from that. Yeah just. Um, it was like one of the kind of games. We used to go for. There wasn't many out for us. And it was, the, it was different. To all the other games out. I must admit. From that kind of. You know that year. So. That's why we used to play that, I believe. So that was good. So the guns and the weapons, right? You can get a various of guns and weapons. You can get pistols, um, I believe Desert Eagles, Colts. And the weapons are pretty good. You can get, um, even in the attic, you can get a lamp, um, like a big candlestick, I believe a baseball bat, all sorts like that. So they've kind of added quite a lot of, um, you know, ammo and, and arsenal to your trunk you know so that was pretty good in itself so that's not too bad so they did try to go to town in it 
So we spoke about the beginning. So the um, the middle and the end. So the middle, to be honest, I don't really know much. Like I said, my brothers have completed it. I think I have once. All I remember is the middle is two things. So when you finally get downstairs, you open the front door up and you do think it was over. So there's a part you like, um, oh, that was a quick game. I'll quickly head out, let's go. Surely it's locked. But when you open it, so this is quite unique for a game, especially this age. You open the door and there's a massive eyeball just staring at you. I mean, come on, that's pretty good. That's a, that's whoever thought that was like, right, we won't have it locked. He's going to go past it. Let's have a big eyeball staring at you. So I, I did like that. And then also um, one of the rooms, you have to do some puzzles which is annoying and oh my god down in the basement it's just like it's kind of the same thing over and over again but the um one of the puzzles you have to like put a book on a symbol and then throw the other book to the other symbol and then you can open up a cupboard okay so there's a lot of those kind of things and the end right this is the end this is good so you've gone through the whole game, you've managed to do all the missions, now you're heading back out the front door. You open the door up, no one's there, and then it cuts to a scene, and then he um, he gets out, bit of music, he does a little jump and kind of does the splits in the air, and you're like, Kushti, made it. So they start walking down the drive and you can kind of see it where you did before. The same car from the beginning pulls up, all right? And then you get in the back and then the camera is your face in the, the, the back of the driver for a little bit and you can't see his face. Then all of a sudden he turns around laughing and he's like, an, like a werewolf or a monster and he laughs at you and then he just drives off and it says the end and you're in the back. Now, that, to me, is truly amazing. I love that kind of stuff. I love how they kept the car, and at the beginning you didn't see your chauffeur, and then you walk up, do all your little bits, come back, he picks you up, the same car, the same chauffeur, and it turns out to be a monster. Love it. It just goes to show, is there gonna be, Is did they do that for a sequel? Because we know there's a new Alone in the Dark out, you know. Not sure about one or uh, two or three. But did they do that? Like now he's going to go somewhere else and he's going to have to escape that. Or is he stuck in this hellish nightmare? You know, is he just stuck in it? Is it a dream? Is he going to wake up? So we don't know about that. So um, at the beginning, um, so we've, got, we've gone for the whole game now. It's a short game. But I just want to touch base on the beginning. So um, there's a little story right at the beginning and I'll find like again 1992 it's it's quite unique so here's a little clip here I'll show you now on my door a dull brass plate says private detective the few friends I have call me Carnby the others call me the reptile I don't care to think what my banker calls me these days, I leave my letters unopened. Bills and threats to send in the receivers just ruin my day. When an antique dealer called Gloria Allen contacted me, I slipped into my best shirt, holstered my 38, and got to her shop as fast as I could. I was expecting something sordid. Blackmail, probably. Boy, was I wrong. What I was asked to do was visit a property called Dersetto and find a piano in the loft. So there's the clip. It's, see, it's, it's pretty good the way they kind of write it. And then if you are watching this, um, not me, but watching on YouTube, um, then you can see all the letters, uh, the, yeah, the letters they're writing and stuff. So that's... Um, that's unique and that's what kind of brings you forward to this game as well which is nice um, and then also but just back in the attic quick is um, I forgot there's a rocking horse 
and there's something about rocking horses it moves as well it does make you quite scared of them I don't know if you're the same but when you see a move it's like a ghost on it so it kind of brings that new you know that kind of kind of feel to it which I do like and it's um yeah really open like I say it's um it kind of reminds me of goosebumps so even if you look at the thing on, on my Instagram the post I put their lone in dark cover it really it looks like goosebumps I mean I don't know if it's the same people but either way it's pretty funny so yeah we're gonna wrap this one up guys um short one again but to be honest alone in the dark it's just for a fan a listener and I try getting much information but it's just how I played it and there's not much to it you know um, it was just a, a really short beginning middle end but if you did play it it does take you a while I think if you can suss it out you probably can complete this game in 15 minutes to be honest but it'll take you days months years it'll just take you forever so um just quickly because i don't like going on about the promotions much but with your support on patreon or buy me a coffee it really helps even five stars on apple Podcasts goes a long way i've only got two ratings at the moment or three but that helps too and we need these to carry on because we have to do funding ourselves to keep this going um, and then just quickly the if you check my instagram i'm getting the halloween specials coming up which i think this fits in just before halloween um, and i've got some good podcasters coming on there as well as ghost hunters who hunt them and, and check haunted places if they're haunted or not so that'd be fun look forward to that here's the outro all the best guys I shall see you soon. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye.